and welcome to a short tutorial showing you what's new about the new Facebook pages. The first thing you'll probably notice when you go to your new page is that the layout looks completely different. You used to have tabs across the top. Those tabs have now been moved here to the left hand sidebar, but you should still have all your same tabs and applications that you've added. If you click this little edit button, your tabs become drag and drop and you can move them around and you can click this X to get rid of any tab that you don't want. The other thing you'll notice right away is this photo bar at the top. That's brand new. That photo bar is displaying your five most recently up uploaded photos in random order. So unlike on your personal profile where you can choose to display the photos in a particular order and use them to make a design, here it's always going to show them in random order picked out of your five most recently uploaded. If you have your wall enabled where users can post photos to your wall, those photos will not show up in this bar. These are only photos that you have uploaded. If you have a photo showing here and you don't want it at the top of your page, scroll over the photo, you get a little X here. You can click that X and take the photo out of the photo bar. That does not delete the photo from your photo album, it just takes it out of this display box at the top of your page. You'll see right here on the side you have an about box. This is pulling from your info page, the about field right here. So whatever you have typed here in your about field is going to display in the side of your wall. So make sure you're aware of what information you're entering into each field here because this information is going to auto display on the side of your page. The other thing that you probably noticed is this admins box right here at the top. I want you to be aware that only you can see this box and Facebook makes that really explicit. Nothing has changed in terms of the way Facebook associates you and your pages. There's still no way for a fan of your page to make the leap to your personal profile. Those are two separate entities and this little box is displayed only to you. You can actually with the new pages if you want to be associated with your page you can set up a box that displays featured page owners and that will display over on the left hand column. But for most of us where we want to keep our personal profile disassociated from the pages that we manage the fact that this box displays here does not indicate that anything has changed in terms of that functionality. So I want you to just be comforted with that. Um, the other thing that's really new with the new Facebook pages and the thing that I'm probably most excited about is that Facebook has now made it possible for you to toggle between using Facebook as yourself and using Facebook as your Facebook page. So previously you could only post on your fan page as the page and you could only browse Facebook and post on other pages as yourself. This has now changed. You can now do either activity as either entity and you'll see this option right here. It says use Facebook as Voice of America. If I click that, I will now be browsing Facebook as my Facebook page and I can, if I post on other Facebook pages, I will post as the Voice of America. If I like other Facebook pages when I'm using Facebook as my page, those pages will show up here in my favorite pages section and not in my personal pages that I like. Um, so you want to be really aware now that we have that option to toggle, you want to be aware of who you're using Facebook as at any given time. In order to post on your wall as either yourself or your Facebook page, you actually have to enable that option in your admin options. So let's go to edit page. And in your settings, you'll see the very first one is posting preferences. And this is where you enable or disable posting on your page as yourself or as the page. By default, this, is, this box is checked and that means that you can still only post on your page as your page. If I uncheck this box and save it, now I can post as myself. So when I go back to the page, we can see that I'm currently using Facebook as myself, as Jessica, 
And if I write something on the wall at this point, when I click share, it shares as me rather than Voice of America. And I can toggle back and forth when I use Facebook as Voice of America. Now if I post a comment, it will do it as the page. The one thing you should keep in mind is that when you're posting as the page, your posts are still going out to all your fans in their news feeds. When you post on Facebook as yourself, that's not the case. Those posts will show up in the news feeds of your personal friends. They'll still be visible on the wall to all fans of the page, but they won't automatically show up in the news feeds of those fans. They'll show up in your personal news feed. Let's just go through a couple more admin options that you want to be taking a look at. Um, the first one is here, email notifications. Facebook has now made it possible for you to receive an email to notify you when someone has commented on your wall, which is handy if you're administering pages so you can monitor what people are saying and be ready to respond quickly. Uh, one thing you want to keep in mind is that this does not work perfectly 100% of the time. So you don't want to be relying on this as your only means of moderation. You do want to be checking the page pretty regularly. In Manage Permission, you have a couple of new auto-moderation options. You can put in a block list of terms that you auto-block, and you can set up profanity block lists based on two levels of strength. Basic information, as we said, here's where your About field that shows up on the side of your wall. This is where that comes from. And you have a bunch of different fields that you can fill in with different information. One thing that you really want to take a look at on this page is the category. When Facebook switched over to the new pages, some people found that their category got changed. And so if you haven't had a look at this to make sure that your category is still displaying as the category you want, just pop in here and take a look and you can change the categories based out of these drop-down menus. On your profile picture options, your profile picture hasn't changed, but the one thing you do want to take a look at is this little section down here, which helps control your photo bar, that big line of photos that's displaying at the top of your page. Um, if you X a photo out of that bar and you realize you made a mistake, here is where you have the option to bring it back. You have this button that says unhide all, and if you press that button, you can bring back all the photos that you X'd out of your photo bar. You can't do them one at a time, but you can bring everything back right here. And finally, we mentioned earlier that that admin box where it's displaying your photo as a page administrator does not display to your fans. But here's where you can add a box showing featured page owners if you do want to associate yourself with your page. So if I click this button, I can now choose to display any of the page administrators in a little box on the side of my Facebook wall. So I hope that gave you a good introduction into what's new in the new Facebook pages and what you should be taking a look at. And we'll be doing a bunch more trainings coming up to show you more tips and tricks for using Facebook effectively.